I love mixed strength and power. I am the embodiment of hate, the personification of evil. No message shall shroud my eyes with the promise of power. Broken bones and shattered thrones will litter my path of chaos. Don't do the drugs and Alright, what's going on you guys? So this is going to be the answer portion uh, to the Q&A video that I did. So I asked you guys to ask me some questions a couple days ago. I've got those questions now, so I'm going to go ahead and get into answering them here right now. So the first question is, what is the name of your cool hairstyle? I'd like to have it myself. And that question was asked by Esplenium Hex. So the name of my hairstyle, man, there is no name for it. It's just long hair, but I'm sure if somebody were, if somebody else were to name it, they would call it the Justin Bieber haircut. Um, but fortunately for me, um, Justin Bieber no longer wears his hair like this. I believe he has a faux hawk now, but I kind of resent the Justin Bieber thing, man, because honestly, um, I'm a couple years older than Justin Bieber. I've been wearing my hair like this since way before Justin Bieber started doing this shit. I've been wearing my hair like this since like 8th grade, and that's been, shit man, that's been like 10 years ago, I don't know, that's been a long time, I've been wearing my hair way longer than Justin Bieber's been doing this shit, um, on to the next one now, what recommendations do you have for someone who wants to start lifting and working out, well, if you're new to this lifting thing and to the, to the fitness world, uh, my recommendation for you would be don't fall victim to the uh, supplement companies and their, their empty promises. Um, you guys who are starting out are going to be the guys that are taken advantage of. You're going to believe whatever you hear and you're going to spend your money on whatever product um, guarantees instant muscle, instant strength gains, instant muscle mass, all that stuff. Um, most of it's bullshit, so I would do your research and... And my advice would be don't take, don't be taken advantage of and don't just spend your money on the first thing that says gain 20 pounds of muscle in five weeks because uh, most of it's all bullshit. So don't waste your money on supplements. You probably don't even need supplements, man. If you're young, you know, those early teenage years and you're just starting lifting, you're going to see plenty of gains just eating good um, and working out. Those first couple of years of working out, man, you don't even need supplements. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. You're going to make so many natural gains on your own that first uh, couple years when you start working out you don't even need all that bullshit so that's my advice on that Sierra Jade 220 has a question for me a girl looks like a young girl man that's a change don't usually get girls asking me questions I gained my freshman 15 I want to lose the weight and keep it off please help I don't want my weight to get completely out of control well I don't see a question there, but I'm, I'm guessing you're asking me for advice on how to not gain the freshman 15. <laughs> My advice would be pretty simple. Uh, just don't change your eating habits when you go to college. And whatever you were doing at home, just do the same thing when you get to college and you shouldn't gain any weight. But uh, I guess if that's um, not easy enough for you, just uh, don't eat shitty food. I mean, if you're only going to gain freshman 15 um, for these reasons. One, the college lifestyle is way more sedentary than, than you would be in high school. If you're playing sports or active, a lot of people quit playing sports when they get to high school. And a lot of people, you know, they're just sitting in their dorm 90% of the time. So I think one of the major issues is being sedentary. So to avoid that, man, just work out, jog, try not to sit in your room. Just try to stay out of your room, try to go out. Even if it's to go out and party, man, anything where you're up and moving around is going to be better than just sitting in your dorm all day watching Netflix because I got to tell you, man, I did the same thing. I didn't gain freshman 15. I lost the freshman 25 because I was dieting all my freshman year. I dieted down to like 160, 165. Um, but my advice is just stay active. That sedentary shit, that's what's going to get you um, gaining that weight. So don't change your eating habits. Don't eat more frequently than you would have eaten when you were at home, and don't eat you know, shitty food. Just try to keep it healthy, man. It's pretty simple. Not, I mean, it's it just there's not really uh, advice to give on how to not gain 15 pounds other than common sense stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you're not going to gain that weight. You look skinny to me. 
Next question asked by Delike. What do you think about Big Rami? Um, Big Rami, I like the guy, man. I saw him at the New York Pro. I think he looked good. I think he's young. I think he's got a lot of potential. Um, I don't think right now he's a threat to the Mr. Olympia crown. I don't think he's a threat to those top three, top four guys right now. But I definitely think as he matures um, and as he progresses, he's he he can do some damage. But right now, I don't think he's a serious threat. But when he when he when he matures more and he's put in his time, um, I think he'll be more of a threat. But right now, I think he's a threat in the lower level pro shows. But I don't think he's a Mr. Olympia threat now. He's got the size and all that. But I got my picture with him at the Arnold, and he was a cool guy, man. You could tell he didn't speak much English. But he seemed very grateful and very appreciative and very humble for all this attention and all this fame that he's suddenly getting. So overall, I good impression of him. I think he's a good dude, good bodybuilder. Nick Inda, what do you think of asshole bleaching? Well, I wish more girls would do it. I think asshole bleaching is amazing. Nobody wants to look at a brown asshole. Pink asshole is better than a brown one. I guess it's a good thing, man. I don't know if you're asking for girls or guys. Now, I don't know if guys should get their asshole to bleach. I don't know about all that. But when it comes to girls, go ahead and bleach that shit, man. Justin Gibson. Who inspires you to work out the most? How often do you work out and for how long? What's your favorite workout? It's a good question. That's tough to answer. Well, when I got started working out, it was Arnold and Jay Cutler were the two guys that I looked up to and the two guys that I aspired to look like. Um, once I once I learned about steroids and, and that these pros weren't natural and that these physiques weren't actually attainable with the way that I was training and the things that I was doing naturally, once I realized that these things were sort of goals that were out of my reach, I started uh, looking for inspiration in powerlifters. So right now, somebody that really inspires me to work out is Dan Green because I feel like strength in powerlifting is something that's more attainable than these unrealistic physiques because there are natural guys that can pull big numbers, that can press big numbers, that can squat big numbers, and they're natural. And they, they're honestly natural, but they're just they're just strong as fuck. And that's possible. Um, I'm sure, you know, Dan Green, I don't know him personally, but I'm sure he's probably not natural. I'm sure a lot of those guys pulling those 800, 900, 1,000 uh, pound um, lifts, I'm sure a lot of those guys aren't natural, but I do know there are some serious strength um, and some serious lifts that are attainable and that are possible to do without steroids. So um, I look to powerlifters um, for motivation now more so than bodybuilders. Um, so how often do I work out? I work out every day. Um, I used to work out a lot more intensely. Uh, when I was younger, I'd work out honestly three to four hours a day. Um, but I realized that was overkill. And I realized that naturally, this is probably just burning my body out and wearing my muscles out more than it's helping me. So I switched to um, about an hour and a half is my average about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, I feel like that's optimal for me. But I guess it, it's different from person to person. My favorite workout, I really like squats. I don't know why. It's just